the Sephora sale is almost here and these are my must-have product recommendations from an ex-Sephora employee. These are in no particular order. These lip liners are better than Charlotte Tilbury and a third of the cost. If you want juicy lips, this is the one for you. I love the color Mixed Berries. This is stunning. It's the best concealer, full coverage. This is my absolute favorite sunscreen and it's a mineral one. Your under eyes will be flawless if you set with this and it's talc free. Just don't ask questions. I know it's expensive. Your hair will never be better a thousand times better than Laneige. I've never met a primer that I thought actually did anything until this one. You will have no pores. Hailey Bieber skin. Super creamy, super blendable, super flawless, 10 out of 10. I've never heard anyone talk about these. These are my absolute favorite. The color Retro Rose is an all-time staple. I have five of them. This balm is also so pretty, puts a gorgeous caramel glaze over your lips. Like for part two and I'll do my skincare recs. With the Sephora sale in a couple of days, I thought it would be fun to do a little what's in my Sephora cart video, so let's get into it. I do have to preface this by saying I will not be purchasing everything in my cart, um, but this is just what I have in there, and then I have to narrow it down. The Kosa Setting Powder, I've heard amazing things about this and about the brand as a whole, so I really want to try it out for myself. The Dior Forever Matte Skincare Foundation, I love anything by Dior, so I can't see why I won't love this. Super Goop Glow Screen, everyone and their mother loves this, so I really want to try it out for myself. Huda Beauty Concealer, apparently this is incredible, so full coverage. Tower 28 is another brand that I haven't tried, but I really want to, so I have the Lip Jelly here in the shade Magic, and then the Kosas Foundation. Again, everyone is obsessed with this. The Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector, I've heard such good things about this as well. NARS Behave Cheek Set, um, I love the shade, it's such a beautiful muted pink. You guys know I love the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick, so I picked up Penelope Pink, and then the Laneige Perfect Pear Lip Hydration Set, just makes your lips look so glowy. Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, I really want to try this and then the Tatcha Dewy Skin Essentials set. You, it's a really good value. Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I picked up the shade Cotton Candy Kisses. I have the clear one and it's amazing. Rare Beauty Effortless Bronzer Stick. I've heard such good things about this. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. I saw a TikTok that sold me on this one today. And then down here, we have another Tower 28 Lip Jelly in the shade Pistachio. Kosas Concealer. Again, everyone loves this. I have to try it. The Way Medium Hair Conditioner. I tried this in a sample and it was so good. So I just want the full size. The House Labs Bronzer, I have the highlighter blush and it's absolutely amazing. The Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum, this just looks really pretty so I want to give it a try. Beauty Baking Powder, it's literally one of the best powders ever. I picked up a mini because all of the full sizes are sold out. Green Cleansing Balm, this stuff is so so good. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, again I've heard such good things about this so I want to give it a try. And then down here we have Juliet Has a Gun in the shade Musk Invisible. Oh my god, my friend sprayed this on me the other day and it smelled so so good. The House Labs Foundation. This has been viral on TikTok this month and it looks so, so good. I just have to try it. The Way Shampoo to go with the conditioner. The Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. I got the Dream Coat last month and I've been loving it, so I really want to try more products. Backstage Concealer. Again, I've heard such good things and it's Dior. I can't go wrong. MAC Lipstick in the shade Blankety. I've heard this is actually a good dupe for Kim KW, so we'll see. This, this is the best setting spray ever. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I have to restock. Kosas product. This is the lip oil plumping treatment. Ooh, only a few left. I gotta hurry. Anti skin hydrovisor. I love this stuff. It's literally the best. Two makeup forever lip liners in the shade Endless Cacao and Wherever Walnut. These have been viral for the last few months, so I really would like to get my hands on them. And then, oh, I need to delete that. Wow, I can't believe I got through everything. This feels very chaotic. Part three of holiday gift sets. Worth it or not? Sephora edition. The Sephora Favorites Deluxe Perfume Sampler. It retails for $80. You get all of these gorgeous minis, plus it has a coupon inside, so you can redeem for any of these full size. And here's a tip. Pay for the box in store, open it up, get out the coupon, and get your full size that same day. The Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Set. If you absolutely love the Bum Bum Collection, get it. If not, you're only saving $20. That's not huge savings to me, and you're still paying full price for these two. Sephora Favorites Holiday Lip Kit. For $45, you get a full-size Rare Beauty Gloss, full-size Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick, and five minis. It's valued at $125, but Sephora, that's a stretch. It's still a good deal, though. Should we keep going? Let me know if you want a part four. If I had to pick an entire skincare routine for your 20s to 40s at Sephora, here's what I'd pick as a dermatologist. Start your day with a glycolic cleanser to gently exfoliate. Next, add in a vitamin C serum, moisturize, and plump. Next, slap on that daily SPF. Reapply with this over makeup. At night, use a gentle cleanser. Add in niacinamide. Follow with a retinol. Optional eye cream. 
Nighttime Moisture Repair. Top it off with a clay mask one to two times per week. The for sale started today, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna do a few different categories. I have makeup and then I have skincare and then I have hair care slash perfume slash body. I do that all in one part. So I wanna start by saying that there are so many products that I really like and that I love. Ones I'm mentioning are like my ride or dies I will repurchase this when it runs out. It's not sent to me in PR. I will go to the store and go buy it. Like, I am obsessed with these things. First, this is the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Sun Glow. I love this. I used to use the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops, and I don't know, something about this. I just reached for this lately. Put this underneath my foundation before my Hollywood Flawless filter. My skin just looks so glowy and radiant, and it's just a great base. I wanted to buy this for years. I could never pull the trigger. Now that I have, I cannot believe I didn't do it sooner. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete concealer any kind of blemish you have this covers it up does not make it cakey it is the most beautiful finish if you struggle with blemishes or acne scars 100% pick this up I've been talking about these for years okay Laura Mercier blush and Charlotte Tilbury first of all this powder is just unreal this is my fifth or sixth maybe this is the best powder and the only one I like and apply this powder over and over and you will never get cakey and the Laura Mercier blush I don't like when blushes are glittery. I like when blushes have a beautiful sheen to them, and that's what this is. You can't really tell, but on, it's just the most beautiful blush, and I've been wearing this for a very long time. Fast setting spray. This is the Milk Hydro Grip. I don't really use a primer. I just use a good moisturizer. If you spray this after your creams and after your powders, your makeup's gonna last. I don't like the smell, but sometimes you have to pay a price. I like a lot of foundations, but this is my favorite. This is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. It's beautiful. It gives... A, a, Oh, words. It gives you a natural finish. It's not too glowy. It's not too matte, obviously. It's just beautiful, and it gives the perfect amount of medium coverage. This is the Nude Sticks Tinted Blur Sculpting Stick. This has recently become a favorite, and did not think that would happen, but I really like this. It is a beautiful contour stick. It's actually blurring. I talked about it a couple different times on my page. I really like this, and I highly recommend picking it up. These are my two favorite foolproof cream blushes. I hate when cream blushes separate on you if you're using the wrong beauty blender or products underneath whatever, like these will never do that to you. Or Fluffy Brows, the ABH Brow Gel. This is Makeup by Mario Eye Palette. If you're unsure of what to buy during the Sephora sale that's coming up, this video is for you. These are all my Holy Grail products that I absolutely swear by and I promise you will not regret buying. And now is the best time to try new products because it's all discounted. Starting off, this foundation, if you've never tried it, now is definitely the time to. It's literally a filter in a bottle, especially if you have textured skin. It works so well and it actually lasts all day. If you want something on the lighter side, Ilia Skin Tint is my absolute go-to. I've repurchased this multiple times and it has skincare in it so I always feel like I'm doing my skin justice when I use it. Nothing will ever beat this NARS concealer. I've been using it for six years and I swear it's unreal. It works so well. Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. This is honestly better than the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand in my opinion. I've been also using this for years and it's just never let me down. For powder bronzer, this NARS Laguna one is my favorite because it doesn't splotch off. I feel like with a lot of powder bronzers, it comes off like very splotchy like throughout the day and this one actually lasts so good. If you haven't already got this blush, I don't know what you're waiting for, but Rare Beauty in the shade Grace is my favorite. It just blends so well with every product and it's so pigmented, you only literally need to use a drop at a time. So this bottle will last you probably over a year, I'm not even kidding. For powder blush, this Hourglass in the shade At Night, it's just a gorgeous kind of glowy blush and it's so pigmented, it's beautiful, I love it. And if you want to know the secret to looking very airbrushed, this powder, I swear, just does it. I use the shade Pound Cake and I just haven't found any powder quite like it. It literally airbrushes me. Now, this highlighter, it's the Benefit in the shade Cookie. I have just never seen such a pretty highlight. You guys have to honestly try it for yourselves. It's so, so good. I could not recommend this more. I'm new to this lip liner. It's the Makeup Forever in the Wherever Walnut shade. And I've been using it for just a little bit and I'm already so hooked. I don't think I'll ever go back to another color. So you don't actually need a primer necessarily, but I like to use it sometimes when my skin's not the best and I really need the makeup to cling on. And this is the only, only primer that works for me. It's so good. And we all know this is the best setting spray out there. I've tried many and this is the only one that locks my makeup in and also keeps it looking glowy and refreshed. 
I don't usually do eyeshadow much, but if you are like me and you're not the best at eyeshadow, but you want to look like you put some effort into it, these Laura Mercier eyeshadow sticks are key. They are so beautiful. There's so many good colors and you can create such a beautiful look with them. Moving on to some skincare stuff, this Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm is my favorite for taking off makeup and I love that it's in a tube instead of a little jar so you don't have to dip your finger in there. If you have textured skin, definitely give these a try. I've been using it for years and I always forget they exist and it makes me so mad because they're actually so freaking good and they just give my skin such a reset and make it look so refreshed. These are the only pimple patches that work for me and I will never go back. So let me know if you guys try any of these products, I'm so curious and also let me know if you want a part two. I'm a firm believer that you do not have to spend a ton of money to get good skincare, but there are a couple products that I do think are super splurge worthy that you should totally try for the Sephora sale. I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of all of them. Number one, you knew this was coming. It's the BHA Exfoliant Toner from Paula's Choice. This absolutely has changed my skin. I've said this so many times, but it literally makes my skin just so bright. Every morning after I use it, I'm just like, why does it look so good? Common denominator is this product. And I have really sensitive dry skin, so I wasn't expecting this to be so good for me, but it is just amazing. Just finished using the Autocorrect Sunday Riley Eye Cream. This is really good, and a lot of people comment, and they're like, why are your under eyes so bright when I don't have makeup on when I'm starting a tutorial? And it's literally this. So this is what it looks like. It totally has some kind of like shimmery glowing effect to it and it just makes your under eyes look amazing aside from looking super brightening there's not fragrance in here and it is really moisturizing and you know i have super dry skin this is like a recent find it's the debronzy drunk elephant drops i've always known about them i've just never pulled the trigger and bought them but they are literally worth it you only need like the tiniest bit too so i feel like the bottle is gonna last a long time and i think it's worth the splurge especially if you're like trying to avoid face tanning like I am because I use retinol and then it gets so messy. This is just great to put on under makeup or wear it alone and have a tan face. A self-tanner that I do really like from Sephora is the Isle of Paradise one. I've been using this less recently because it is pretty intense because I have the dark color, but I personally will be trying the Tan Lux face drops. I'll link them on like to know it. They're literally so expensive, but Hailey Bieber uses them and everyone says it just gives you like the perfect glow and sometimes this can be a little like too tan and not like super glowy. Last product is the glow screen from Supergoop. This is an amazing product to just give your skin like a filter without wearing makeup. It doesn't alter the color of your skin at all. So this is good for all skin tones. It's super pretty under foundation too. So this is a 10 out of 10. And that's literally it. All of the rest of my skincare is drugstore and it's all on my Amazon. If you've been trying to figure out what your Sephora sale splurge is, this is your sign. My skin is literally glowing from within right now and it is because of one palette. This Hourglass Elephant Ambient Light Edit Unlocked, such a mouthful, has everything you need in it. These are the diffused light powders that I love to use under my eyes. So bright, I didn't use any other powder today, okay? And then the bronzer, stunning, highlighter, wearing it, mix the two blushes together, put them on my cheeks, put it on the perimeter. It's just cohesive. It's smooth as freaking butter. I mean, no, it's not getting better than this. You have to get this. All right, you guys requested it. So here's a part two of makeup products to pick up from Sephora during the sale, things that I keep in my professional makeup kit and use on clients, and then other things that I personally am obsessed with and think are worth the splurge. So let's get into it. First up, we got Miss Charlotte and her setting spray. This stuff is amazing. I use it on all my clients. I use it on myself. So that's my makeup beautifully, melts it into the skin, and it's just worth every penny. So pick it up during the sale. If you're in the market for a new eyeshadow palette, then this palette is for you. It has literally every shade you'll ever need. I know it says out of stock, but if it comes back in stock during the sale, then definitely snag this guy up. This isn't much of a splurge, but I had to mention this because this blush literally means everything to me. I would marry it if I could. Um, yeah, Tower 28 cream blush, amazing. I love these Fenty bronzers, especially because her shade range is insane, but they're also so pigmented, so blendable. Perfect, I love these powder bronzers, definitely worth picking up during the sale. This is something that I bought recently and I'm obsessed. It is her heat gloss, so it has like a plumpingness, but it is so pigmented, whoa, so pigmented, so plumping, and I mean, I have it on my lips right now, literally gorgeous. Okay, so this one's a splurge, especially for a brush, but I have this in my makeup kit, I've had it for a few years. It has lasted me 
still to this day it's still in perfect tact i love that it's dual ended i use it literally on all my clients and it is worth the splurge i'm telling you pick it up if you can speaking of brushes sephora collection meaning anything sephora brand is 30 percent off so that'd be a good time to pick up some brushes i love this concealer brush it's amazing you can like fit it into like all these little nooks and crannies on your face and it will definitely be worth it especially with the 30 percent off any of these hourglass ambient palettes you literally need to pick up to try because they're amazing they have blushes bronzers highlights i mean they're incredible and especially with the discount it would make it worth every penny i'm telling you these are their limited edition ones right now listen i'm gonna be a laneige lip mask hater for a second because i tried it years ago broke my lips out and then i turned to tatcha lip mask amazing 10 times better so beautiful on the lips i've gone through like i swear 10 of these it's definitely worth trying if you haven't picked up the Kosas powder yet, then I don't know what you're doing or what you're waiting for. Pick it up during the sale. If you want that blurred out flawless finish, I mean, this powder will literally do that and more for you. This is also another splurge, but Pat McGrath eyeshadows are unlike anything I've ever tried, like especially the shimmers. I can't even explain it. They're amazing. If you can get your hands on one of her palettes, even the quads, it would be worth it to try and pick it up during the sale because they are just incredible. Okay, listen, I know there's like a hundred other lip oils out there right now, but I'm telling you, nothing beats Dior. Maybe I'm just biased towards Dior, but this one is literally the best. Not sticky, hydrating, juicy, love it. Pick it up during the sale. What you need, what you don't need, what's overpriced, what's a good value set, and all the things you need to know about the Sephora sale from a professional makeup artist. Yes, I'm still in bed. It's my off day. I'm not getting ready. Yes, this is a pimple patch. Let's get over it. Let's get into it. Starting off strong with my favorite gift set that they have available right now. These are both full size. They're not tricking you. This is a great value. This is my favorite sealing spray if you want your makeup to last through tears, swimming, sweating, crying, doesn't matter. This is the move. Another incredible value, the Brow Freeze is normally $30 by itself. You get a duo brow powder, and I think this might be like a mini travel size brow brush. But again, all of this for $29. It's incredible. This is my personal favorite long-lasting lip pencil. The shade I use is hazelnut, but all of them are absolutely beautiful. Now this perfume does not get the love it deserves. This is my signature scent. This is Clean Reserve in the scent Skin. This is the most beautiful, subtle, Vanilla, sweet, florally, musky, just underestimated, underrated scent in the world. I always grab one of these during the sale because who doesn't want 20% off something that they go through every three months? Next, the NARS Pot Concealers. I don't buy these during the sale only because I get a NARS professional discount, but these are incredible for color correcting. They're great for spot concealing. They're wonderful full coverage concealers to conceal under foundation. Again, NARS, I will be purchasing this because I get a professional discount, but these are pricey and getting 20% off as a rouge is the way to go. Another NARS product, these are beautiful cream contours. Most of them have a cool undertone, so they are pretty much true contours more than they are bronzers, um, but they have a really good shade range. Now, they didn't when they first launched, but they do now. Um, they blend out beautifully. They're decent coverage. Uh, love these. Again, I must really love NARS, but this is my favorite gloss. This is Lover to Lover. Um, I would definitely snag one while you can get 20% off. This is going to be your best friend if you have oily skin. Love this foundation. You've definitely heard me talk about this concealer. It is my ride or die. I will never use anything else. Sephora collection is 30% off for everyone, and these are the most beautiful baked bronzer skin powders. You can set your under eyes with the lighter colors. You can bronze with the darker colors. They have a great shade range. It's a decent price and you're getting 30% off. Snag every color. This is also Sephora collection. Beautiful pigmented blushes. Grab them 30% off. This is my absolute favorite beauty find of 2022. It's my favorite translucent setting powder with now a pink undertone, which I love. It's so good for fair skin. It's extra bright. You can't get it anywhere except Sephora online or on Laura Mercier's website. So snag a hundred of these. They are the best brightening powder ever. Huda who? Cherry Blossom? We don't care about her. Laura Mercier, you are the winner. But let's look at these three. Top one, original $40. One below $40 with a powder puff that you're going to throw in the trash. Forget that. Get the original. And then this talc-free one is $44, and it's the worst powder on the market.